While OpenAI's Sora is still sleeping, with no known date of when it's actually going to be available, other apps are already releasing their amazing AI text-to-video generation models. We recently had Luma Labs, in which if you haven't seen this video, make sure you check this one out for sure. That way, you can compare and decide for yourself which one you like best so far. But I will say that this update and tool that we're going to take a look at today is insanely impressive. Introducing Gen 3 Alpha, Runways new base model for video generation. Gen 3 Alpha is the first of an upcoming series of models trained by Runway on the new infrastructure built for large-scale multi-model training. It's a major improvement in fidelity, consistency, and motion over Gen 2. So we can come down here, it says, train jointly on videos and images, Gen 3 Alpha will power Runway's text-to-video, image-to-video, and text-to-image tools. This is definitely one of my go-tos for video generation. Then as I scroll down, you could just look at some of these phenomenal examples. Again, more video demonstrations down here and the examples just go on and on. So before we head over to Runway ML and generate some of our own amazing videos in real time, let me first give you an important update in regards to AI video generation and my mega prompts databases. If you have any of my databases, I've been adding new tabs constantly. Check the links in the description. Anytime a new app or a new feature comes out and it's an awesome one, I will add new and more and more prompts and images to it. So here's an example. Here is my Leonardo mega prompts database. And again, up here at the top are gonna be all the tabs. I can select motion and now I have prompts that have been used to generate some fascinating motion videos. If I click on any independent cell and open it up, if I select this play button, I can actually watch the video created in motion in real time. I'm now adding another tab over here in the mega prompts database that anytime I discover a prompt that produces an amazing looking video, I'll add it over here. Now, very quickly, let me first show you some amazing generations I was able to get just a few seconds ago. So the first one is pretty unique because I did not realize it could do this. Here is the video right here, okay, across your screen. Let me go ahead and expand this. Now, did you know that in Runway ML with Gen 3, you could actually create green screen videos? So I just put a simple prompt of a woman walking. If I hit the play button, there she is. I guess I should have said facing me. However, now in this video right now, I'll drag this generated video over into Final Cut Pro and then simply add a key here to remove this green screen. And now all of a sudden, just like that, here we are, this same exact woman is now walking on the screen in front of you right now. This is going to be incredibly helpful to generate green screen videos for any tool that you use. Okay, so I have one example. That example is pretty phenomenal. Now, here's another one I opened up right here. This was created earlier today with a simple prompt. An underworld city, underwater buildings, and skyscrapers. And then just like that, I mean, this did a very phenomenal job, okay? This one right here, I think, is one of my new favorites because it looks pretty amazing with that light bulb and then the neon light glow all done in Runway ML with a very simple prompt. Let's just go ahead and now select this Get Started button. Once you are over here, here is the dashboard. And then notice up here in the top left-hand corner, make sure that you have Gen 3 Alpha selected as your model, okay? Once that's selected up here in this box, this is where you're gonna enter your prompt. And now we have a few other convenient options as well that will definitely help you in your creative process. Now, before we add a prompt, let me just first go over some of these helpful things right here, okay? below this we have settings okay resolution is currently 720p that's all good now below that though we have custom presets on the left hand side if I select that okay I have custom ones but there's some pretty good examples that you could use as a reference point for an example a person in a crowd cinematic drone close-up close-up portrait and then you could scroll down and it's going to give you a very good starting point to begin with if I wanted to use cinematic drone I could just select apply and then up here it automatically fills in the first portion of the prompt and then all I have to do is just enter the subject of my choice that's pretty convenient okay now this will also display down here as well if I enter in my 
own prompt, you can notice down here at the bottom, as I scroll, you could see it starts with over the shoulder, but as I scroll, it goes all the way over to close up, slow motion, etc. And again, if I select one of these, like a person in a crowd, look at this. It starts to give me the prompt, and then I could just fill in my subject within whatever the bracketed text currently has. That's going to be very helpful again. But for this one, I already have a prompt in mind. So let's go ahead and then just simply paste this in. Okay, so I have my prompt copied. Now I just simply pasted it in. Here it is. View out of a window of a giant Godzilla-like creature walking in a dystopian city at night. Okay, that's going to be pretty good. Now notice this. Up here in the top right-hand corner, I'm going through credits like crazy. So I only have 277 left. Each one of these videos, specifically if it's going to be 10 seconds, will eat up about 100 of my credits. So down here at the bottom, I could select 5 seconds or 10. I'm liking the longer ones, so let's just go ahead and stick with that and then select generate just to see what can happen. Now, once Runway ML is done, we'll head back and then see how good of a job it actually did. Okay, and then there you have it. It looks like it's done, so I'll open it up so we can watch it in real time in a second. But one thing I do want to let you guys know about is that now this is kind of annoying I am getting this error a lot so I had to actually change up my prompt so instead of saying a Godzilla like creature I had to change it up to a humanoid robot because time and time again I do continue to get this notification that says generation blocked now I don't know if that's like a safeguard thing for like uh, using any sort of brand name but I've gotten it time and time again just by simply trying to generate some sort of text so that's kind of what's hard to figure out it seems like at the moment it is pretty strict because I'm getting this a lot and I'm having a hard time getting the videos that I want now that I have this one downloaded let me go ahead and open up this one uh, it's pretty fascinating now notice it is a widescreen shot, but in the very beginning, it doesn't appear to be because you could see the zoomed out effect. It is exactly what I was wanting through a window. So in the beginning, it's only showing the partial window, but as he begins to back up, you could definitely tell it's a window. So that's why in the beginning, it looked like it wasn't a 16-9 aspect ratio, but now that you have the full zoom out effect, it definitely did a phenomenal job. All right, so it looks like I have enough to try one more, I have 177 credits left. So I have seen a ton of amazing videos with text being accurately generated. Okay, so for this next one, I'm actually using a prompt that was featured on this Twitter profile over here. So over here in my prompt box, here is the full complete prompt. And now let's open up this video and see how good of a job it actually did. Okay, nicely done. Light the way. Now it did a phenomenal job, it's highly impressive. The only thing missing is the word the but you can kind of make it out right here at the top it's just missing the h but nonetheless let's make sure yeah so light the way that's missing hey even that it did a pretty amazing job so there you have it runway ml is incredibly impressive and it's only gonna get better so let me know what you think in the comments below and thank you so much for watching this video and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button because you'll be the first to know when all these videos come out but until then we'll see you next time